Hey folks, welcome back to Get a Healthier Life. Official weigh-in yesterday morning and I lost one more pound. <laughs> one pound even. And that was actually fantastic because by all rights I should have gained weight. We went to the grocery store this past week and my sweetheart, the love of my life, bought a big old pack of cinnamon rolls. And let's just say that willpower is not my strong suit. So for three nights in a row this past week, I had a cinnamon roll for dessert after dinner. <laughs> so I really should have gained weight. And I'm not talking little tiny cinnamon rolls, okay? I'm talking about big cinnamon rolls. So how did I manage to still lose a pound? One of my secret weapons, I mentioned this in an earlier video, and that's the Herbalife Herbal Tea Concentrate. I normally have two cups a day, typically. But each day after I had one of the cinnamon rolls, I had more like four to six cups that day. And I was hoping it would help at least offset the increased calories that I got in from those cinnamon rolls. The, the herbal tea concentrate has thermogenic properties. It helps boost your metabolism. And I think that is why I managed to not just stay even, but actually lose another pound. I, I really recommend the herbal tea concentrate. I always put the link to the store down below. Remember that during the month of October, I am running a special sale just for my online friends, 20% off when you use the coupon code Halloween. So do that. Go to getahealthierlife.com, enter the store, use uh, the coupon code Halloween, and you'll get 20% off of anything and everything you order in the store. But at least get some of the herbal tea concentrate. It comes in a few flavors. I highly recommend it. Now, this week's tip, I know I've been doing uh, the shake recipes, and I'll come back to that next week, I promise. But this gives me a chance to tell you a little bit about my weight loss philosophy, okay? I'm not a dietitian. I'm not a nutritionist. I did not go to school to learn how to, how to manage weight. I'm just a normal woman who has struggled with weight since I gave birth to my daughter in the early 80s. I've read some books on the subject, I read every magazine article that I come across, and I have come across one theory that rings more true to me than almost anything else. And that's that when you reduce your caloric intake, which you really need to do if you're trying to lose weight, after a while your body can become acclimated to it. It thinks you're maybe starving, and it will lower your metabolism to offset it. In other words, so you don't burn as many calories because it doesn't want you to starve to death. It's a a very survival thing for it to do. Unfortunately for you trying to lose weight, it's, according to a lot of experts, what causes those dreaded plateaus that so many people hit when the scale just sits there and doesn't budge for a while. There are those who have taken this philosophy into an entire weight management program and they recommend cycling your, your caloric intake. In other words, you have so many days of a reduced caloric intake and so many days of an increased caloric intake and then reduced caloric intake and then increase so that you end up with something like this and it keeps the body from falling into that trap. It makes sense to me. I can see the logic in that. So that's part of my personal philosophy. When I decided, okay, that's it. I'm losing the weight for good this time. I didn't drastically change what I ate. I'm eating the same dinners that I was having before. Portion sizes are basically the same. But I'm doing the, the two meal replacements a day most days. There are some exceptions to that. For instance, I have kept in our tradition of fast food Fridays. Friday is the one day of the week when my husband and I have lunch together, which is fast food. And Friday is the one night a week that I don't have to make dinner. So we go out and get fast food, bring it home, and watch a movie. Needless to say, that means my caloric intake on Fridays is much higher than it is any other day of the week. I think that that's helping me keep those metabolism fires burning. I'm hopefully preventing my body from falling into that dreaded trap. We'll see as this all wears through, wears out, but this is my 13th video, and I have lost exactly 20 pounds so far which means I believe that works out to somewhere around one and a half pounds a week. Not too bad. I'm happy with it. Sure, it's not a big, huge amount of weight loss like some diets promise they'll offer you, but it's kind of like the tortoise and the hare. I'd rather be the tortoise, you know, slow and steady wins the race. I think that those yo-yo effects on the scale, the big drop in weight, but then gaining some back and then dropping the weight and gaining some back is pretty unhealthy for the body and I'm hoping to avoid it. So, 
Now you know a little bit about my weight management philosophy. That's all for this week. Come back and see me, and I promise with another shake recipe next week. And don't forget to go to the store before the end of October 2012. Get your 20% off. I don't normally do a discount that deep. You don't want to miss out. So go to the link below. See ya.